Yeah. Okay. Are we rolling? Yes. See, this is what the mainstream does. They have to read a script. The script that's handed down from them. So we're still here in Gilberton, and as you can see, behind my shoulder, we have a repeater who is actually reading off a script because that's what the mainstream media is all about is getting an agenda and repeating, not reporting. See, I could do it on the fly. I could just, you know, talk because I enjoy my First Amendment, what's left of it. I could speak. I don't have an agenda other than the truth. But these people need to read from a script. Now, what I do is I'll be recording this, and then we'll be comparing it to what's actually shown on television, and then we'll see how much truth is actually to told. I, I can't even imagine like trying to remember. It's like, like being an actor. Well, that's what it is, actually. I feel like these guys are just, if somebody's not familiar with how it works, is they're actors. You know, they, they have a script, they have an agenda, and they repeat. See, I used to give people the benefit of the doubt, but, you know, fool me once, fool me twice, fool me a couple hundred times, you, you, you kind of start to get a little bit cynical about these people, and you realize that every single one of them has an agenda, unless they're a whistleblower, of course. So as we seen earlier, and you know, I'm standing here, they're about to do a live shot, Chief Kessler said he won't do any interviews with anybody but me. And we have all these mainstream repeaters. Oh, hang on. Hey, so do, do you guys do you guys have a comment on why you hate freedom so much? No. How about the First Amendment? I know you like that one. How do you feel about the Second Amendment? Do you think a man should lose his job and be threatened, have his children taken off him for not even breaking a lock? I believe my boss told you to leave us alone. Uh, I never spoke. I never spoke with your boss. And even if he did, I don't think you could tell me what to do. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh no, I, I have a mainstream repeater right now. Literally, well, what is this supposed to be? Some kind of standoff? This is, this is the cameraman that we talked to on the 4th of July who admitted that he's not allowed to go after other media sources. And he wants to pick up his camera and put it in my face as if it's some kind of problem to me. But I would, ask, I would ask him, uh, cameraman, why, why do you hate freedom so much that you want to see a man who didn't even break a law persecute it and, and have him terrorized to the point where uh, other mainstream journalists are calling for children and youth saying that this man's children are in danger? How do you feel about that? Do you think that's just? 
Do you think that's just? Do you think your camera intimidates me? Oh wait, you can't talk to, oh that's right, you have, you have, you have the rules. You can't talk to other journalists, right? You can't talk to other media sources. So what was she talking about? Her boss told me, told me that I can't do something. I wasn't in contact by anybody. I wasn't even recording. <laughs> Is this supposed to be some kind of standoff? No, no, put, put on this guy. So can, can you can you answer? How do you feel about a man who didn't commit a crime being terrorized by the mainstream media?